Humans have consciousness, most dog or cat owners will say, of course, but our understanding of what animals think and how they do it is evolving fast, and it might force a complete reset in how we treat the animals around us. Until recently, scientific consensus was the use of names was unique to humans. Now, we're hearing a different tune. Over the past decade, evidence has emerged that dolphins, whales, bats and parrots use unique calls to identify individuals. And now, a new study shows that elephants also refer to one another by name. It gives us an indication and they're not just predisposed by their genetics, but they're taking information from the environment, thinking of it consciously, then reacting accordingly. In the past, it was thought that any signs of consciousness in animals were a result of humans projecting their own traits onto creatures, and there was no way to test what happens in the animal minds. But now, that thinking has changed. More animals than we thought appear to demonstrate a level of both consciousness and sentience. Experiments show the cleaner wrasse fish can recognise its own reflection in a mirror. The zebrafish exhibits curiosity when it sees new objects. And bees have been observed playing with wooden balls, apparently for fun. So observing animal behaviour in their natural system, scientists are discovering that animals as large as elephants or as small as little fruit flies display elements of complex intelligence. Look, this idea has actually been postulated as far back as the 19th century. I believe it was Charles Darwin who said there was no fundamental difference between humans and animals in their ability to feel pleasure and pain, happiness and misery, which will be news to my ex-boyfriend. The research could have a profound impact on laws and regulations from research labs to zoos and pet retailers. So historically, it's been very convenient for humans to view themselves at the top of a pyramid of life, like we're the apex of evolution. But we're realising that actually a lot of them aren't that different to us. So is it time to re-examine how we view our fellow beasts and what role they play in society? Honestly, anything that gets me out of this dead-end IT job is fine by me. Oh, one sec. Welcome to CrowdStrike. Now may I help you? <laughs> Sorry, this might take a while. <laughs> You've always known this, right? Yeah. Do this animals is, have consciousness? Oh, this is the best. Finally, we have science to prove what I think so many of us have known for so long. I mean, of course, our dogs and our cats, and, and we know how intelligent creatures like elephants can be, but I work with crocodiles every day and they are smart. They recognise you, they learn, they remember, they have personalities. Really? But the way they show it is, is so different. You know, yeah. your dog or your cat comes home with their tail wagging, but a croc is striking out trying to eat you, but they're still having fun, <laughs> they're still enjoying themselves. So uh, this is just awesome. Animals 100% unequivocally have feelings, they have emotions, and this emotional intelligence that is so deep, we've only just scratched the surface. So, so, so does this have, like, um, implications for, I guess, like, zoos and stuff like that? Well, I I'll tell you, like, what we do at, at our wildlife sanctuary at Australia Zoo, we prioritise more than anything else space for our animals to live as they would in the wild. Beautiful, big areas to roam and do what they should do. And they also have enrichment 100% of the time. And, of course, that conservation aspect in there as well. So very important to maintain that. Because mm. animals are just like us. Mm. They need to have fun every day. So mm. we should smile at a crocodile. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Not too close, though. So 